Alright, I'm sorry everyone, I, I don't know what happened to my microphone audio, but for whatever ever reason it just decided not to pick it up, and OBS can be a douche like that, so... Again, I am sorry about that. So yeah, um, well, well I might as well recap the video, so this matchup sees myself, the host, the champ, taking on Team Primal Carnage. And as you can see, I'm currently 2-0 up. I mean, you'll, you've seen what happens in the match, so... I don't need to recap, but I'm basically in a strong position and probably about to win, so let's continue. I'm so sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, the Chasmosaurus finally biting the dust. 
and a Tappy Jara dive just to add insult to injury, but Team Primal Carnage still in a bit of trouble because Stranger's second dino is the might of Mega Raptor. I've uh, not seen too much of this guy, but beware of that Mayfly as that thing will pack a punch. Synergize with the lethal type effect that Mega Raptor has. Because I picked lethal type. So I'm just looking at my mic audio, making sure it's picking up. And it is so far, so so far so good. Stupid OBS. Ooh, the Mega Raptor getting off the hit on the Ceratosaurus. Ooh, the Dino Illusion. Oh, that will definitely help Team Primal Carnage there. As will a critical hit. And next turn, it will be Awakening Time. Team Primal Carnage fighting back. Oh, but it's a big chance missed. But the Dino Illusion will save Ceratosaurus, but that was a huge chance miss there. A hit there would have taken out Mega Raptor, and Primal Carnage would be right back in it. But instead, the Mega Raptor is going to finish off Ceratosaurus with a Mayfly and give Stranger a bonus point victory, which will put him, for the time being, top of Group A. That was a good win. <laughs> I got a little bit nervous because I thought, oh no, he's going to come back into this. But, you know, we got over the line in the end. Right, time to update the tape. Time to update our table, and then we'll move on to our next matchup. Which, since you, since I didn't explain in the start of the video, is the big one. We have Tor taking on Ultimate Dino King. Alrighty then. In the red corner for Tor, we have an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Both of these combatants have this beast in their team. Or, as Primal Carnage would like to call it, the Azalea Acro. <laughs> And yes, this beast has done reasonably well for Tor. But in the blue corner for the Dino King, we have a Brachylophosaurus, and we've definitely seen what this guy can do. And I mean, it hasn't quite happened for these two. I mean, there is, there is, well, there is a favourable chance that both of them will qualify from the group stage, but this is such a massive game as the loser of this match, well, will be under huge pressure to win the next round. But the winner will put themselves one step closer of qualifying from the group stage. Ooh, a Dino Stuffer there. Ultimate Dino King starting off with a crit, but the Dino Stuffer says no. But yeah, this is such a huge game. And actually, now that I think about it, I've actually booked my place in the last 32. Regardless of what happens. Because I'll be like five points clear of the bottom two. So even if the bottom two get like five maximum points, which is five, I think because I've beaten both of them, I might? Well, I beat Tor and um, and I beat Team Primal Carnage, so unless it's Ultimate Dino King that loses this match, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. Right, if Ultimate Dino King wins this match, then yeah, I'm pretty much through. So, <laughs> rooting for you, Ultimate Dino King. Ooh. Well, it's quite a back and forth start so far. Tor getting hits, Ultima getting hits. Ooh, what's this? It'd be a volcano burst, because, you know, Alpha Acrocampus always gets it off every time and it has 300 technique, but an Omega Armor Eokarkiri of Tokers does not get a Flare Sword once. Rubbish. Ooh, well, after a back and forth start, Tor seems to have turned the screw. Oh, no Emerald Garden for Ultima, as a Flare Sword comes in to finish off Brachylophosaurus. Alright, up next for Ultima Dino King, we have Super Tyler Roeth, the Joker of the pack. The um, underdog of the team. Do you, it, well, it lasted two seconds against Team Primal Carnage because they had Pro Sawalophus. Alright, awaken mode on three, but Tor on top early on. 
Ooh, Ultimate Dino King getting back into it with a crit. Not too much damage dealt, but Earth Barrier will definitely help them come back into this match. Oh, another crit from Ultimate Dino King. Alpha Acrocampasaurus, not in the best steps. Oh, well, he went for three crits, but the Alpha Acrocampasaurus didn't fall for it. But the Earth Barrier there, saving the Talarurus from a thrashing. But the Poison and the Flare Sword. Hang on, are you serious? Hang on, hang on. Are we serious? Three times Volcano Burst, Flare Sword, and Flare Sword activates, right? How many times has Toka got those moves off? Zero. And they have a freaking Omega Eokakira with 1,000 technique. Almost four times the technique of this Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Like, what a load of rubbish! Right, back to the match. There's a weakening time, and oh my god, despite the Earth Barrier. Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna say Tor's gonna win this match. Yep. <laughs> oh, ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. What has happened? Are, are you serious? I, I'm, I'm sorry, ultimate. I feel bad for you. Like, you're just getting creamed. Okay, as for ultimate's third dino, we have an alpha acrocanthosaurus as well. Look at his techniques. 300. Okay, that's pretty good for ultimate. For Alpha Acro, 600 like maxed up. That's pretty decent. And like Tors is like 400. It's, it's rubbish. It's utter rubbish. I bet if it had heat eruption, it'd get heat eruption off every time. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Dino stuff is stopping accurate, but Volcano Burst will probably activate again, so don't be too happy, Ultimate. Oh, okay, it didn't activate because I don't think it can because the Dino stuffer. Okay, that's a tie. That's a tie. Go on, Ultimate. Get back in this game. Oh, for God's sake. And you, you know what's going to happen next. Freaking Flare Sword's going to activate. <laughs> this is a joke. I, I am sorry, but this is just a joke. This... this, this. Alright, that's a tie. Is this thing dead? Oh, for God's sake, he's dead. Well, you're not getting 3 0 Ultimate, and honestly, you probably would have gonna get 3 0 Like, it, 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 it's just a joke. That is really a joke. Okay, as for Tor's second dino, and the dino that'll probably win the match for Tor, we have a Ferrazinosaurus. But I am sorry, Ultimate. I, I really am. But I think they're gonna get knocked out of the group stage. Yeah, that's game over. I mean, well, the tie bomb will finish him off if it's a tie. Um, okay, can you stop Tor getting a bonus point at least? Okay, okay, it's a hit. Oh, hang on, light recovery. An attack boost. Oh, I forgot about that, so the tie bomb won't be enough to finish off ultimate now. Oh my god, that was pathetic. <laughs> that's a pitiful amount of HP. Oh, oh, there's the tie. The tie bomb will not be enough to finish off Ultimate Dino King. Okay, that will, though. And that is, no surprise, a bonus point win for Tor. And honestly, it was only a bonus point win for Tor because she got off, like, six Volcano Bursts and Flare Swords in a row. Like, what, have you, what have you got in your possession, Tor? You've got, like, a pot of gold or something. You've got, like, a leprechaun. Okay, well, that's a bonus point win for Tor, and that's a massive bonus point win for Tor. And as for the Dino King, well... Gonna have to win the next match. Otherwise, you're gonna be out of the group stage. Right, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Connor Temple taking on Ibuki. And, at first for Temple, we have an Anata Titan. This could be an important match here. The winner of this match will all but assure their place in the last 32. 
A bonus point win for Temple will take them level on top with the hosts. <coughs> a bonus point win for Ibuki will also put them top. Anyway, as for Ibuki in the blue corner, we have the purple sheep of the lightning dinosaurs, the Zuni Ceratops. And we saw what this beast can do when it took on Tor. And well, it didn't fare too well when it faced Stranger, but... You know, it is quite a strong dinosaur. Could be pressure on this match, with Ibuki having to play Ultimate Dino King in the final round. And Connor Temple taking on the hosts. A lot at stake here. Ooh, the Anata Titan gets off the first hit. Um, I feel like Ibuki... I think Ibuki has the slight edge in this match, purely because Temple has a water dinosaur in the team, but if Temple can defeat Ibuki without having to need said water dinosaur, then I'd say it's quite an even match. Ooh, a plasma anchor coming from the Zuni Ceratops. Uh, I forgot what it does. I, I should really re-watch my videos. Cause I, I, yeah, I, I made a video of like, what all the Japanese exclusive moves do. At least what I think they do. I think Plasma Anchor lowers the dinosaur's technique. I know what Sand Trap does. Ooh, Sand, sand Trap lowers your defense in a tie, so you take more damage. Ooh, the Anata Titan getting off the hit. Ooh, the Counter Blitz there is going to stop the Zuni Ceratops from dying. Uh, yeah, it will stop it. Even if it's a tie, they lose or they win. Ibuki will be... Zuni Ceratops will be, will be able to stick around for another round. Ooh, a chance miss there. As the tie recovery effect activates from the Anata type. Ooh, the Zuni Ceratops are getting off that cheap little hit. It's not over yet. Well, this is just started, so it's never going to be over. Well... The Anata Titan defeats Zuni Ceratops and gives Connor Temple a slender lead. But will it be a case of should I finish off the first Dino like it was in the first match with myself and Team Primal Carnage? Or can I boogie pull it back with this Penta Ceratops? Yeah, it's absolutely key here that I boogie gets the next hit. Because we saw in the first match what happens if you don't take out the first Dino, you end up you end up having to play catch up, and all of a sudden, you could find yourself going 2 0 down. But that's not going to happen to Ibuki because the Anata Titan is going to get taken out by a lightning spear. Okay, as for Temple's second dino, we have a Gigan on a sword. And if Ibuki can defeat this thing with Pentaceratops, Ibuki will be in a strong position to win this match. But it will not be easy because that Magma Blaster definitely packs a punch. And I think if you use the Attack Type Giga, that Magma Blaster is actually maxed. But I think this guy's Counter Type, so Magma Blaster synergizes really well with it. Because Magma Blaster only gets triggered after you lose, like this. Another lightning spear coming from Pentaceratops. Oh my god, look at that damage! Loads of damage done. A Magma Blaster could come in very handy here for Temple. But he's not going for it. Oh, the Giganonosaurus going down. And... And all of a sudden, Ibuki has opened up a lead on Connor Temple as their third dino, the Spinotector, comes in. And this is where I think Ibuki could win this match, because this thing will be a tight disadvantage against all of Ibuki's dinosaurs. Which means not only does the Spinotector have to take out Pentaceratops, it also has to take out Super Trike as well. But it is a Dinotector dinosaur, so that ultimate water could be critical here for Connor Temple if he wants to win this match. Ooh, that's a good hit, but you'll see how what little damage... Yeah, look how little damage it does. Hell, I think Ultimate Water will probably activate... Like, Dino Tech will probably activate on the Pentaceratops. But when it does activate, 
all of Spinotector's moves will be gone, so the type advantage will no longer be relevant. And, I believe, when an armored dinosaur uses said special move, like Ultimate Water, for example, I think its moves get a bit of an attack boost as well. I mean, it's got, it's got to, because, I mean, the Parasaur... The Parasaurolophus in like the other in the other video did loads of damage after it got off Ultimate Leaf. Yeah, look at that pitiful amount of damage done. Ibuki definitely on top in this match. But all the more while that bar is gonna fill up, and that could be Temple's way back in this match. Another electric charge there. And yeah, well, Ibuki has guaranteed themselves points in this match. Regardless of what happens. Oh, that's a tie. Temple needs the next hit or he's done. And that is game over for Connor Temple. And Ibuki Clay bouncing back after defeat against the host with an impressive bonus point win. And also booking their place in the last 32. A well-deserved victory there for Ibuki. I mean, it won't put them top because I won the matchup between Ibuki, so I'll still be top, but Ibuki will be level on points with me. Right. More about that when I update the table. Well, that's how Group A looks going into the final round of matches. We have... Actually, I, I, I forgot that Ibuki got another bonus point, so Ibuki is actually top with 11 points and booking their place in the last 32. And then we have myself on 10 points, who have also booked their place in the last 32. And then we have Tor in third on 9 points. Look at Tor all of a sudden. She had 0 points going into round 3. And out of nowhere, she has 9 points. After 2 big bonus point wins, how quickly the tournament can change for you. And, uh, well, I don't think it's guaranteed, because I think Team Primal Carnage... Actually, no, they have yet to play each other, so... If Tor gets any form of points against Team Primal Carnage, she will guarantee her place in the last 32, but it's, pre it's pretty much assured. And then we have Connor Temple in fourth with six points after two straight defeats. Is it two straight defeats? Oh, do they play two, two? Yeah, yeah, they lost to Tor then, didn't he? And then we have Team Primal Carnage in fifth on five points. And then we have Ultimate Dino King with three straight defeats, bringing up the rear on four points. And wow. Round 5 looking very tasty. A big game between Tor and Team Primal Carnage. And then a massive game between Connor Temple and the hosts. And then probably the biggest game of this round. We'll have Ultimate Dino King. Huge game against Tabletop and Ibuki. Although I will say for Ultimate Dino King. Super Talarerus will be key. Because it will be at a type advantage against all of Ibuki's dinosaurs. So I think Ultimate Dino King will win this match. Which, if he, if, if he does, he'll go up to 7 points. And then he's just got to hope Tor and myself can do him a favour and defeat Temple and Primal Carnage. And then Ultimate Dino King will go through. But we'll just have to see. So basically, these three are already through. We've already... They've, these three are already through. And it's pretty much a f straight fight for fourth between these three. Well, that's going to end this session, so I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for next time. We'll kick off round four for Group B. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.